You looking better. Thank you. I'm blushing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Yes, yes. We told you we have a guest up in here. Mm -hmm. The guest is also here. Thank you so much for coming. And again, this is a very hard-working Nigerian, a very hard-working music merchant, a very hard-working music producer, a very hard-working television producer, a very hard-working documentary. Huh? documentary producer. Okay, document, thank you for correcting me. <laughs> documentary producer, yeah. a very hard-working songwriter, a very hard-working A&R person, a very hard-working interpersonal relationship between artists, wow. not only in Nigeria, but globally. My head is Ladies swimming. and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, wow. help me in welcome, help us in welcoming one and only Bankuli wow. Osha. Thank you very much, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic, how do you put it, that a legend like you can put all those words together for you a are, small boy like me. You are. <laughs> Let us appreciate ourselves. Thank you very much. You are a good, everything I've said, you are good at it. Wow. You are song writing, wow. song producer, wow. documentary, relationship between wow. artists, relationship between radio, I mean, um, executives, and again, Many artists, not just Nigerian artists, yes. international artists like Kanye West, wow. like Jay Z, <laughs> like Beyonce, wow. like so many other superstars. And everybody, if they don't know, they should just follow you on Instagram. <laughs> well, B A N K U W L I, Bankuli. Oh, Shadia. <laughs> <laughs> Can I add uh, smart working? Really? Um, Beyond the hard work. Thank you. Yeah, you work smart. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. How have you been? Well, I've been fine. I've been doing the Lord's work. I mean, God's work. And um, there's something about life that we've learned from people like you. Um, the journey continues. It's a marathon. Okay. You keep on, you know, reinventing yourself. Yeah. And um, you follow your mind. You follow where God sent you to go and do the job. Mm. And you go there and get it done. And the most important part of it, I mean, for me, I believe protecting the genre is very okay. very important at this point in time okay. a lot of our musicians are getting blown up out outside the world whiskey davido tiwa bonner boy but we still need people to keep you know keep protect the genre itself talk about it in a positive way you know bring a b c d e f everybody together unify you know the genre beyond just nigeria i'm talking of ghana Cote d'Ivoire, uganda and the rest of the world and of course people out there they need to know the real story about mm. Afrobeat mm. and I believe that is important for people like us and people like you that we have to put that out in out to the world and it is not just by talking it is by your action. attitude and action as well and that's what we've been doing talking about action what have you been doing recently because with regards to you doing so many things, yeah. But we will be zero in on particular segments. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. With, Anyone with, you want to do. With regards <laughs> to the album released by Beyonce, okay, of the movie, yeah, you know, Lion King. Exactly, Lion King. that's the, the gift, gift album. The gift right. Album. Yes, How were you connected hmm. to Beyonce? Wow. Paint the picture on the wall for all of us. Okay, basically before, before I was there, Beyonce. I was in LA doing my own thing, and um, like I said, I said earlier on that. It was all about God orchestration. Right. Um, there's one Nigerian out there. Her name is Vanessa Amadi. She was out there in a lay while I was there too, and I was like, ah, I saw her on my on my Instagram feed. Ah, Vanessa, you are in LA. I said yes. I said you've been around for like a week. Said, so you are going to be in LA. I will be in LA. We'll see. I said I'm sorry, but I said where are you? Where are you been? So she told me where she was, and I called one of my friends. Uh, come, take me to the place she, she, she said she did. And we both drove down there. Now, our plan was to go from there to go and eat Amala and Begri. <laughs> uh -huh. You are laughing. <laughs> ah, look at this woman. Because you need all those kind of food out there, it will reset your brain. You won't forget the son of who you are. So, you know, the plan was to go from there, go and quickly get Amala and Begri. And we do. Because that was the plan. Only for us to get there, and um, well, after greeting all the platitude, pleasantries, I told her that come, where are you they go? She said she's going to the studio. I said, okay, let me drop you off. And we dropped her off, you know, where we were working on the project and we left. 
only for us to be stuck to the traffic light, just two minutes away from where we drop out. She started calling me. Bankuli, Bankuli, I said, yes. I was even looking at the back the seat back if she forgot her. You know women, they always forget wallet or something. Or phone or, or something. phone or something. And she said, no, 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 that I should turn back. I said, turn back. I said, hey, hey, turn back. And my guy was like, guy, it's already 8 o'clock. They will close the restaurant. We need to eat Amala. <laughs> we need to eat Amala. And I'm like, hey, let's go. Just let's listen to what she wants to say. And we went back. We turned back. And I went inside and I was giving the information about the project. And I'm like, I was looking at them. I was looking at myself. <laughs> and I was trying to think, why, why, why me? You understand what I'm saying? And of course, I was, you know, brace up and, okay, let's do it. And that was how I was able to, you know, interface with the project. And, and afterwards, and everything started happening, you know, wow. recording and... And I did my thing. <laughs> All right. Okay, talking about the gift album, which song exactly did you work on? Well, I worked on the other side. Okay. And I uh, worked on um, Find Your Way Back. And I think my voice was on the Mufasa number three track, the a cappella one, and some other ones there. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I did a lot of backing vocals there. Okay. All right. But obvious ones that you will actually hear a proper Nigerian man singing. Other side. Okay. You know, I, 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 did, I did my, my I mean. The one I worked on, on on the other side, I actually sang in Yoruba. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, for now, we'll do Find Your Way Back. Yeah, Find Your Way Back, yeah. We'll do Find Your Way Back now. Yeah. All right. What did you say on Find Your Way Back? Skibi robo robo rebe. Onito skibo robi rebi rebi. Hey! Skibi na do linda do do. Hey! Skibi robo robo rebe. Hey! Onito skibo robi rebi rebi. Let's listen to it. Skibi na do linda do do. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Beyonce featuring Bankuli. Yeah.